Hey, what's going on there, Dice Rose? Paul here, and I'll be your DM for a while. And today, uh, I have something that's a little bit dated. Came out earlier this year, uh, but I was a part of a early gift exchange online, which was quite fun. And uh, I decided to put this on my list, which is uh, the Witchlight Carnival dice. And because uh, I know that some of these uh, dice packages have some bonus stuff in it. I've never bought one. So I thought I'd ask for one and uh, then be able to show it with you guys to uh, show you what's in it. Let's take a look. Now, I will say that I have not played. Uh, I have the adventure, uh, but I have not played it yet. So some of the references may not make any sense, but I have well, I've looked it over. Uh, I've just not played it yet. So let's just see what all we have here. All right. So. We have our dice here. And I gotta say, I'm not necessarily a fan of orange and blue. I mean, they're cool looking. If you're a, a Gators fan, by the way, if you're a college football fan and you love the Gators, well, then you should definitely buy this. Um, I like that it's got kind of double of everything here. It's got your 220s. It's got four six-sided dice. It's got a 12-sided. It's got two, uh, a 10-sided, a percentile, uh, an eight-sided, and a four-sided. So those are all really cool. Um, can't, you know, you can always use extra dice. So now here's where the bonus stuff comes in. And by the way, this is a great little box here. So you have yourself, um, let me dump this out here. You have in here uh, some stuff, but you also have a very, very nice box to put things in. I, I mean, that's kind of worth it all by itself, really. I mean, you, you get this really sharp looking box. And of course you can either uh, use this side, which both are felted, um, so you can kind of use that to roll your dice in uh, either side. And uh, once again, I think that uh, that is kind of the uh, the cool factor of that. You get the really cool dice. In fact, I'm going to put them in there for now. Just put them in there as well, right? And then I can stuff all the other stuff in there. So we'll take that, and then we'll take a look at some of the things. It says, uh, tell us what you think. A little card there. You can go ahead and do that. And then you have... Um, some looks like character cards, yeah. Ellie Wick Tumblestrum. So you have these character cards uh, that will help you tell the story and make it a nice visual. Uh, the Witch Like Carnival gives you the basis for that. Mr. Witch, a little bio for him. I, I mean, they could have, I guess they, they give you the bio, which is great. It'd be nice if they had a little uh, stats on there, just to kind of have that. You have Mr. Light, which is also, I believe, their partners, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, hence the Witch Light Carnival. Um, let me show you that. Uh, then you have the Witch Light, Witch Light Hands. Those are the uh, carnival folks that help make things happen. Very nice. <laughs> you got Bernie. Bernie. I like the pumpkin helmet there. You have Kettle Stream. Little Kenku there. Uh, you have the Weird, <laughs> the weird Three. There we go. Little bios on them. You have Durlagron. Dur 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 right, there we go. Oh, is that a, oh, it's a big, it, it's a cat butterfly. Okay, very nice. Uh, Palacia, got the bio for that. You have the North Wind, very cool. You have Candlefoot. Once again, I don't know who all these characters are, but I like them. I like the bios, the little bio cards, because, I mean, listen, you can have this out behind your uh, DM screen and uh, get a little quick refresher there for who all these characters are. Almiriage? Al Al Almiriage? Ring Toss? Is this, the, is this the game? Oh, this is the game. Okay. Yeah, that's a game. Okay. Yeah, nice. So it actually tells you the uh, tells you the kind of game that you're going to get there. It says this game involves tossing rings, tossing rings over the horn of a wooden statuette of an of an al mirage, a cute bunny-like creature with a horn. I seem to remember this creature. I want to say in first edition, maybe. Um, the al mirage teleports on a tabletop, making it hard to score success. Okay, you get three rings. Tossing a ring over the al mirage, al mirage's horn requires a successful DC 17 dexterity check. Two successful tosses earn one roll on the carnival prizes table. Three successes earn two rolls on the table. Okay, very cool. Catch the catch the fairy dragon tail. Once again, another game it looks like. Another game you can look at. 
uh, the Gnome Poetry Contest, another activity, Goblin Wrestling, of course, why would you not have Goblin Wrestling? Guess the feathers on the cockatrice, <laughs> what could go wrong, what could go wrong? Outstare the Cyclops, okay, very nice. Oh, here's Carnival Prizes, uh, very cool, you have the... Uh, just roll there and you get all kinds of different things. You get a realistic replica unicorn horn filled with candy. That's pretty nice. Uh, you can get the Feywild trinkets, tiny electrum whistle that only Faye can hear. So you can get some of those as your as things that you can get, I guess. And then this is the actual, I think it's the map. I think it's the map. Well, it's 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 got like some good, it's got like a, a, a nice picturesque of the carnival. And then I think on the back, it has the actual, yes, it has the actual layout. So I'm going to say, you know, just based on, on what I'm seeing here, this is a nice little package. It's not, this is, this is not bad. You get a little uh, of some bonus stuff. And uh, once again, I'm, I'm impressed with the quality of it. And uh, it kind of makes me want to run, you know, the witch light a little bit better now that I have some tools and some uh, things to be able to use with my players. All right, and uh, that was the Witchlight Carnival dice set. Uh, like I said, everything fits in the box here, which is really cool. Kind of show up with that, your little box of wonder. You got your dice, you got your cards. Uh, they're help, you know, helpful for helping you run the game. But anyway, that's uh, that's my take. What do you think? Uh, do you have this? Uh, do you have the Witchlight Carnival? Have you run the Witchlight Carnival? Do you recommend the Witchlight Carnival? Love to hear your comments. Leave me some thoughts down below. And if you like this video, by the way, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Let me you know you like the video and uh, and that you want more of them. And also uh, helps the algorithms and helps the video kind of go places and do things so that other people can find uh, the very videos that you're watching right now. So that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you guys being here, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.